now to video you'll only see on local 10 news. Thieves lurking through South Florida neighborhoods and stealing your mail. Cops say that a suspect's car was full of hundreds of pieces of mail. We've reported on these brazen crimes before, but it appears to be getting a lot worse. And Local 10's Andrew Perez live in Sunrise with our exclusive tonight, Andrew. And Calvin, this is an issue that affects almost everybody in South Florida. One crook really put in a lot of work. Take a look. His vehicle was full of over 800 pieces of mail. Mail from Plantation, from Sunrise, from all across Broward. Police tell us they found masks, gloves, and loose credit cards thrown around. He turned around and jumped in his car and sped off. Sunrise police officer Justin Yarborough tells us Andy Lewis here didn't get very far, though. He hit a cop car after officers caught him rummaging through a corporate complex mailbox with a key, leading them to this bigger hall. The police report says the amount of mail rose from the floorboard to about four inches above the rear seats of the vehicle. He was arrested. It's a constant battle. For many residents like Bruce Peterman, mail theft is almost normal. Caught on his cameras June 24th, July 22nd, and again this past weekend, his block was hit. I've never seen it this bad. On these trucks coming up one side of the street with the arm coming out and then going down the other side of the street. This latest case appears to involve a rental U-Haul truck off Northwest 35th Street in Sunrise. But this postal plague is a widespread problem. We've been covering this trend. Officers say residents have to report what they see in order to track it all and compile the data. But more importantly, police say prevention is key. Removing the mail from your mailbox before you go to bed, signing up on the U.S. Postal Service website for informed delivery, and that lets you know what's coming in the mail every day. Andy Lewis, by the way, he faces a slew of charges. Federal investigators are also looking into him as well, and police say they really need you to report any suspicious activity so they can properly map out these trends and patrols.